Hey, it's Luke with Auto Darts. This is the Tachi Mag. This is a 29 round mag injection molded. It's made of Triton, which is a really durable material and has a very high heat resistance. Uh, this magazine was designed by my buddy Eli Wu, a good friend of mine and an epic Nerf modder. And this is our very first injection mold on the shop. This is a Talon Magwell design. It's compatible with majority of Talon mags. Please look at our current list that's actually on the listing because we'll keep updating that as time goes on. It's worth noting right now these don't work with the Lepus because the Lepus uses the little Talon uh, extension roundness here to actually hold rather than the mag release itself. So that wasn't intentional, it's just how it worked out with the design. This design can be topped off with darts from the top or you can load the classic way one at a time. It's kind of up to you. The magazine is available in two different spring weights. Because this is a very long magazine, the spring weight does matter. And the heavier spring, which looks like this guy, is for the maximum rate of fire. Now that would be great if you're going to run a crazy rapid strike or something that's got a very high rate of fire. This will feed up to 25 rounds a second in our testing under normal room temperature ideal conditions. Obviously that could change if you've got crazy humid environment or something, but that's for maximum rate of fire. If you're only using a springer, which is the more common use of these mags, we have a smaller, lower gauge spring that actually is easier on the darts and will work better for springers. So if you're using a Nexus Pro, an Aeon Pro, a Max Striker, a Lynx, a Talon Claw, a Caliburn, you're gonna want the lighter one, the lower rate of fire. And this is still good for up to six to eight rounds per second. So it's still got a decent rate of fire. It's just not going to keep up with a 18 dart per second rapid strike or something like that. The mag construction is very simple. It's got a tab system that holds the two halves, holds the, the base in place. The follower looks like this. So the installation is pretty simple. If you're ever maintaining or replacing a spring, you just kind of pop this on here. And then you line everything up and, and uh, reinstall. Now, depending on your setup, you will again want to determine your spring. I'll have another video that's also in this description of this YouTube video along with on the product page itself. And that video will show you how to cut the heavy spring in case that's the one you have and you want to reduce the dart pressure. The reason to avoid the heavy spring if you don't need it is that the pressure on the darts will wear on the darts and cause dart compression, which is not ideal over long periods of time, especially. So if you don't need the high rate of fire, definitely get the lightweight spring. Hope this has been helpful. This is a really exciting product. We are thrilled to finally have this out. It's also worth noting we have a couple other products that do go with this. We've got a TriMag connector that's designed specifically for this magazine. And we've got plus five extenders because, you know, maybe 29 isn't enough. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you next time.